Well, winning a medal at any international event uh, is certainly an honor. Uh, and, and, and though it wasn't the one that we wanted or the one that I felt we deserved, uh, I was very, very happy with the way the guys performed here. Uh, to come back after an emotional loss to Canada and to, to play in this game, uh, it's not an easy thing to do. Uh, you know, you, you, it's third game in three days and, and, and you really had to will ourselves uh, against the Swedes here. So, like I said, just very, very proud and, and, and honored to have worked with this group. <laughs> it, it, it was great. Uh, you know, I knew I knew all the players were really good players within our league, uh, but it's a little different when you get to coach them and be on the ice with them. So I have, I have a much higher appreciation for all of the guys that we just worked with. Uh, the, the talent level, uh, the hockey sense, the skill level uh, that, that these guys have. You see it against uh, against your own teams or on video, but when, you, when you're actually on the ice with it, it it's uh, something special and, and our guys performed well. That is one of the biggest challenges about an event like this. Uh, the, the good part about it is that a lot of the guys already know each other, or at least know who each other are from number one, being in the league, but number two, having been through uh, USA hockey camps, the 15, 16, and 17 festivals. So it, we, get, we get on the page relatively quickly that way. There, there's certainly a, a camaraderie of guys within the league once they get to these events, and er, all the good players know who the other good players are. So, uh, But you, you still have to do team building. You still have to try to get them going together, and, and you certainly need to, to figure out your line combinations and D pairs. So, you know, there's a lot that goes into it, but the, the fact that our, our guys are, you know, pretty familiar with each other made it a little easier. Well, I think the league was uh, exceptionally well represented here. Uh, just looking at the personnel of the other teams and, and, and every team here was good. Uh, I don't think any team here had the depth that we did. And I think that's what separates the USHL from any other junior league. We just don't drop off after first or second line. We have low low line players that are scholarship players on our team and that have college commitments so i think that's one of the biggest differences in in the guys that we not only had here but all the guys that are back home well i, I know everybody takes it a lot more serious now uh Every country that was here, they're sending good teams. Before, it was just kind of a little bit of a precursor or maybe a couple of good players, but everybody's putting time and resources into this tournament now. The, the media coverage, uh, the, the amount of scouts that are here, uh, just it, it's, it's really, really grown, and I only see it getting better.